I'm Tanuri Hujaidi. I'm from Nigeria. Uh, that's in West Africa. <laughs> I speak many languages, so to say. My first language is Urobo. That's my mother tongue, so to say. I also have a bit of three other Nigerian languages. That's uh, Igbo, Yoruba, and Hausa. Just a little. But I also have a little German, which I studied at the university. My French is still good. And of course, uh, English. It's a very diverse uh, country. To about 250 ethnic groups. The, the Hausa, Fulani, the Yoruba, and the Igbo. Yeah. In Charlotte here, there seem to be more Igbo people than any other group. Maybe they were the first to come to the place, maybe during the Civil War. I think they formed the majority. I believe there should be about uh, 80-85% of the Nigerians in Charlotte should be Igbo. Then you have uh, some Yoruba people and then you have a sprinkling of other groups. Nigeria is a country with a lot of good food, good music. L let me start with the music. I don't know where you've heard of Fela, uh, Fela Rasamkuti, he died some years ago. His Afrobeat is one of the best you can, best types of music you can think about. And the uh, different groups have their music. Look at the Yoruba, they have very good music. The Igbo have good music. My own Yoruba people, we have great music. So Nigeria has uh, very good food too. As the country is diverse, so you have also a lot of diversity in the types of food we produce. And uh, each ethnic group has its own type of food. But the common foods that you get like uh, moi moi and akara, these are produced with uh, black eyed peas. They seem to be a delicacy. We prepare rice differently. Nigerian rice, we have what is called jollof rice. But the jollof rice is prepared in a special way. If they prepare rice also with coconut juice, or they prepare it with, uh, with palm oil. So, so there are different types of uh, food. But Nigerians like to swallow, as we say, we, we tend to swallow. We have what is called uh, gari, with which you prepare eba. It's almost like pounded yam, yeah? uh, pounded uh, mashed potato. So we have pounded yam yeah? and prepare different types of soup vegetable soup with dry fish, with fresh fish, with uh, chicken or beef. I'm from an, a minority group in Nigeria. Uh, so within Nigeria, I was raised as a minority person. So when I had to go to fer federal government college, I had to compete with people from majority groups. But I had to go work hard. And I brought that to the United States and it works. coordinator of the graduate certificate program in Africana Studies and well, I'm very proud that we have Africana Studies because uh, we, we focus on things which relate to the black experience Africa and the African diaspora and we pay a lot of attention to Africa African American Afro Caribbean and Afro Latin it's, it's very important to have uh, Africana Studies Department and also a program like this, Graduate Certificate Program in Africana Studies because you look at things from a different perspective like, rather than just only the Eurocentric perspective. Let me give you an example. So if, you, if you read history, they tend to give the impression that sometimes as if black people liked being enslaved. <laughs> which is a total lie and uh, they never try to put themselves in the perspectives of those who were slaves but uh, as a slave master they write the history and uh, so this is uh, in a way a subaltern type of of uh, criticism that you are looking at something from a different perspective perspective not the perspective of the person who for instance perpetrated slavery but from the, from the experience of those who experienced it. Uh, they just sweep over, you 
you know, when they talk about things which relate to the African, African American, Afro Caribbean, Afro Latin experience, it's just like a, a small paragraph in the whole book. But even the sciences, many discoveries were done by blacks, they were just uh, ignored. So, what we do here is to focus on all the black experience. I really got my inspiration from home, from my grandmother used to sing traditional songs and that inspired me to start writing poetry. And I chose poetry, poetry, I chose poetry as my medium uh, for a long time because uh, that's just what uh, I was interested in. But later on I'll be writing short stories, I'll be writing novels too, but poetry remains my main medium of writing. I'm interested in those who are exploited, those who are oppressed. Uh, at the same time, I want to uplift, pay tribute to people who have love poems. I tend to be more interested in human beings. How, if I see a beggar in the street, uh, if I see somebody who is in pain, who is sick. Uh, so I'm more interested in things which will, uh, in a way, uh, raise our humanity. To a different level which will improve the lives of other people. I believe in that notion that the writer should try to make the world better than it is by the time he or she dies. I want to raise people's consciousness. Most of my writings are in English because you see English is the official language of Nigeria. You know, Nigeria was colonized by the British so I, I write in English, but once in a while I write in my native Urobo language. I'm looking for the bigger audience. Uh, so if the Nigerian audience, the African audience, the American audience, the world audience is English that they can, can with which I can communicate with them. Uh, but at the same time, I, I make use a lot of the folklore of the Urobo. The chorus is in Urobo. It's a poem about Shaka Zulu, a warrior, and I put in an Urubo song which talks about warriors advancing. I always talk about the warrior spirit. I think we need that to change things. If we remain as we are, if we have been oppressed or exploited or mistreated, if we don't fight back, Things will not change. The oppressor, the exploiter, uh, the dictator, they will, they will stay there for as long as they want to, if you don't make them feel uncomfortable. Uh, black people should not shy away from even black English uh, or anything which is infused by the African experience. It's African, African American, Afro Caribbean, Afro Latin. There's something there. Uh, you see that I speak with my own accent. I've not changed that much. Uh, but also, I feel there's something there that when I say something which strikes everybody. There are many Englishes now, and my English is different. And there's something, there's a certain curiosity. There's so much we, we can get from our own heritage, from our own culture, to contribute to the world. We don't just have to be like others. We don't have to imitate others because others are doing something. We have something which is positive. So when we have pride in ourselves, it's then that others will also look to borrow from us. You can never be as good as the person you imitate. Mm -hmm. You can be better if you project your own. I'm Tanuri Ojaide. Meme Tanuri Omore Ojaide. Nigeria is in Charlotte.